Alrighty, uh, on to the next one, as they say. Uh, we have Emperor Final Fantasy Legend. Uh, 5 CP 9K with no text. Um, it does have a special, which is uh, hilarious, actually. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a forward, you do 8K to all your forwards. If it's a backup, you dull freeze all the characters your opponent controls. And if it's a summoner monster, draw four. Um, 7 CP, draw four. 7 CP, dull freeze all your opponent's characters. Or 7 CP, board wipe is all about on rate for this. Um, I gotta say. Are there enough Emperor FFLs? And can you protect this guy long enough to get this effect off? Um, there is exactly one other Emperor FFL, and it is a ice backup. Well, I like that it's a backup. You could actually recur backups easier than you can a lot of other things in Ice Light or Earth Lightning. Um, sounds like a fun gimmick deck. Uh, I don't see this being a constructed deck, but I uh, would love to be wrong. The other thing is that it is random, so it's like you have to kind of stack your deck with summons and monsters for the draw four, which is probably the best effect, but. I don't know, the backup dull freeze everything is kind of crazy too. Uh, that sounds very fun. Uh, sounds fun to play with, I just don't know if this is going to actually be constructed playable. Um, if you pull this off and sealed, uh, that's going to be really fun, by the way. Uh, Edge! Um, this is a 2CP 4K forward. Um, really unfortunate name, but it's in a different color, so that's helpful. Uh, it gets three shuriken encounters, and you can tap them or move a shuriken counter to do 5K to a forward. Uh, it's a common. It, it's it's a common. It, it, it's a common that's removal. Um, I don't think this is the worst common you'll ever see, but it's not going to go in a ninja deck, so we will move along. Actually, can Edge remove Shuriken sure counters from anywhere? Uh, remove sure Shuriken counter from Edge. I'm assuming in that case it refers to from itself. You can't, like, entitled play both edges and then remove from this edge to fuel the other edge. That would be kind of cool, actually. Um, but I, I think that in this case, you probably can't. Uh, Elgo. Uh, force CP backup. Recur a multi-element card. Uh, it's, it's just good. Uh, Multi-element's probably a little bit more restrictive. This, is, this would go in after you put in your... Um, instead of Clan Gully, but if you're not willing to risk uh, having a backup that's 2CP and doesn't do do anything, and you have a lot of multi-element cards, this is a, a solid enough card. Uh, good little backup. Uh, Ailed Narsh, uh, 5CP, 9K. Uh, it can be a 7K break forward. Nope. Moving along. Kane. Crazy. Good. Back up. Um, so the funniest thing about Dragoons as a deck is Dragoons does not play a cane right now. Um, there is just not a good cane that fits in that. Um, like the best one for like a true Dragoon deck is like the Wind Cane, but you have to go way out of your way to play that cane, right? Like you play like the three Dragoons and the three Canes, and you like. Your first cane gets pitched to play a dragoon, so you can generate the crystal, and then the next one plays your cane, right? Like it, it, it kind of like just doesn't feel great. So like this is now the best cane for dragoon decks, and I think this actually causes a total paradigm shift in how dragoon decks play. And I'm really excited that this is enough to like really push them over the top. So what dragoon decks should start doing from now on, if you play dragoons, you are a blind second deck. You will always go second. You choose to go second no matter what you do, right? And what you're looking for, the dream hand, is Kane Alice. And when you go second, your opponent does their turn, and you back attack in Kane. And what you have done now is you have stolen the first turn from your opponent. Your opponent has done their first turn, but you start with a backup on your field, right? It's like, it's like you went first with four cards in hand, right? And now, if you go to your turn, your cane untaps, tap the cane, pitch two cards, play your Alice, draw a Dragoon. What do you know? You've now got a Dragoon backup and a cane. Uh, like, I think that that sounds just 
ludicrously good. Um, you still have the, the Dragoon problem. It, it, it is open Alice or lose in Dragoons. Um, I think that's the scary thing about this card is that like for that nut draw, you do have to like kind of op open Kane and open Alice, but like I, I I think it doesn't matter. I think that like it's another Dragoon backup that you can hit that also gets you there. And actually, Dragoon's got another buff this set. Um, they got maybe one of the best backups in the entire fucking game. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we'll get there in a second. Um, I think Dragoons are a serious contender this set. And I think they were actually, like, almost better than they were giving credit for last set. I've lost to them. Maybe I just have a bad matchup against Dragoons. I swear I lose to Dragoons more than anyone else does in the history of this game. It's, like, up there with, like, if I see an Alice on my opponent's field, I lose in the same way that if I see an Alice that I lose. Um, but... I think this card is, like, game-warpingly powerful for Dragoons. Um, I think the ability to steal the first turn, having a 2CP backup that with back attack, is one of the coolest things in the game. Um, and until now, it was only doable in Earth. Now it's doable in Lightning, and there's a really good Lightning archetype that wants to have it play an odd cost of backup on turn one. So this is just so cool. I love this card. Um, one of my favorite cards in the set, actually. Uh, Scholar, um, this is the cycle of standard unit backups. Um, he's he's fine. He he does the damaged forward thing that Lightning tries to do. Basically, like Lightning's idea is that like conditional ping that's bigger than fire and small cost Tate. This does both. So um, both of these effects are fine. I think the damage three on this one is a lot cheap, easier than other decks just because Cindy is such a good card. But um, yeah. Cool card. Uh, Chimera. Um, I actually really like this card. So the big thing with uh, Chimera that I that comes to mind immediately is that uh, if you play this, you can sack your own Oracle of Light. Um, one of the biggest things with Oracle of Light was that Oracle of Light does not die. Um, your opponent will do everything they can to not break your Oracle of Light. This now breaks your Oracle of Light. And it's kind of like... You know the idea with... Uh, um, Miune was that like Miune would like bounce the card to hand and replace the card you bounced to hand with herself. This like kills the thing instead, but replaces itself with an 8k forward that's like conditionally a forward. Um... I think this card is really, really, really good in the right decks. Um, and yeah, I think being able to intentionally kill Oracle of Light by itself makes Oracle of Light a much less risky card to play. Um, so yeah, I think this card is really cool. Um, also breaks Rampair. Anything that breaks Rampair is uh, still interesting. Um, Kuja, EX first, break a 2CP forward. That's solid. Tap. Dola forward. Also solid. Uh, not much more to say than that. It, it's a decent little uh, 2 CP backup. You're not really looking for much more from them sometimes. Uh, probably only ever going to play one of this if you're playing it, but uh, can't hurt. Golbez! Uh, what a weird, weird, weird card. Um, so Golbez is a 4 CP 8k. And if you're playing in Limited, that is all Golbez is. This is maybe the single, one of the worst legends in the history of Limited. Um, maybe not the worst, but it, it's up there. Um, it's got a Warp 4 uh, for Lightning into Colorless. And every time a Warp counter is removed, you can play a job Archfiend for free and draw a card. And if it ever actually comes into play, all your Archfiends gain 3,000 power. Um, this card, a lot of this card reads crazy, and then you realize there is not a single playable Archfiend in the entire game. There is not a single Archfiend that you would unironically want to play. Um, so the, on the only reason you're playing them now is like as a weird Golbez deep draw engine. Um, the other thing that comes to mind is all the Archfiends are category 4, so you could like warp this and then like power up Iridia over the course of a couple turns but uh then you're like having this weird deck where you're like mixing summons and Iridia and Archfiends and 
Ugh. Just, like, awkward at that point. I don't know. I I was, like, hoping we would just see better Archfiends for this card. Um, I like the design of it. I think it's a really cool idea. This, like, big boss that, like, hangs off in the shadows and send his minions in, like, one at a time. I think it's, like, a really cool card for flavor. Um, I really love when they get that, like, down pat. I just... There, there's just no Archfiends I want to play. Like, basically, the way this card is going to end up working is you, you try... You play him as a draw engine... And you have to figure out what the fewest number of lightning cards you can play to get the Golbez warped. And what the fewest number of Archfiends you can play that you'll have one at the beginning of your turn every turn. Um, and it's like... Cagnazzo is... Okay... Like, that's that's maybe like the one I would look at. Like, Cagnazzo... And then Rubiconte is, like, annoying. So you, like, run, like, three of the 2CP Rubiconte, and then, like... Maybe three Cognazzo, and then maybe like the Barbaricia that like does damage to an opponent's forward, uh, so they have one K power left or something. I don't know. I just it's just weird though, because like I said, the weird you have these cards that are now all off color, and you now have to play them, and they all suck. So you're playing bad cards to enable your good card, and I think a lot of times when you're doing that, you're better off just playing other good cards. So. Uh, Janae, uh, it is a common ninja that taps the dole forward, and then you can pay four to reactivate him. Um, it's not anything to write home about. It is two CP off of the uh, edge, but you're never paying for it, so we'll move right along. Uh, decent draft card. That's about it. Uh, Mobius, we've talked about the Dream Stooges a little bit in the other videos. I'm really curious because I think this archetype could actually have some legs um i wasn't really that sold on it until i heard steve talk about it and then there is now like the tricolor agito cadet engine you could play where you go lightning into fire into ice and now all of a sudden you, these are all totally color fixed and you could like play that with like the waltzes as your secondary engine and you have like these like really obnoxious forwards that just never truly die and they are like all decently big and you get a dull freeze in your opponent's forwards every turn um I first saw them, I thought they'd be a little like too pie in the sky to actually work, but uh, the more I think about it, the more I'm actually like excited to give these things a try and uh, see if they actually have any legs. Um, I think you could even do kind of funny stuff like Edgar fits in this deck for some reason, where you could like go play Edgar to recur two of them back to hand, which is really funny. Um, I don't know what that means for the lore, but uh, that is a thing that you can do. So but you like run those, then probably like the rest of your backups you want to be fire, I would imagine. And then go from there. Maybe like a Palum. So you have another like Black Mage. Um, seems like a deck that could very easily work. So um, hopefully I don't have to pick up a place out of Edgar or anything like that. But uh, we'll see. Um, Vivi. Uh, this card's fine. Um, they definitely tried to restrict it so it doesn't work with uh, Bart's Poco by restricting it to Lightning. Um lightning's identity like another like mini subset of lightning cards is like one cp forwards that like break something under a condition this uh falls under a long story tradition of those and uh it's cute art decent card kind of a rough name but i mean it's really not that hard to get a couple lightning cards and pop something so i think it's a good card uh, i don't know what plays this that's uh, another question but uh, behemoth so this is effectively a Spectral Keeper that is way more expensive, but breaks something on entry. Um, having played with and against Spectral Keeper, it is really, really obnoxious to have one of your blockers be completely nullified every turn with nothing you can say about it. Uh, I don't think you're paying five for that effect, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, I do think this is a really nice mirror target, but I feel like at damage 5, you probably want to get Luminous Puma back anyway at that point, so... Um, I don't think this sees a lot of constructed play, but maybe like a really turbo-aggressive deck with Monster Synergy, you could go for this. Um, as an aside, the uh, the Dead Onion Knight is uh, hilarious. I can't wait to see this in foil and just see like, the, the foily Dead Onion Knight at the bottom. Uh, lightning. Uh, fourth Lightning in two sets, by the way. Um, 5 CP haste, 
Uh, if she dies, cheat a category 13 forward of cost 6 or less for free. Um, so if you have 3 lightnings, you could cycle through all of them into one last category 13 card. That seems pretty solid. Um, I like the idea of playing that with Vanille. Because um, you can go like Vanille to like fetch this or other copies of Lightning if you want to just have a, a 4 that keeps doing things. And then uh, you can proc this effect yourself by discarding an Odin and breaking any forward your opponent controls and Lightning. Um, fun fact, there are no Odins in this set, so that effect does not exist in Limited here. Um, 5 and 6 cost category 13 forwards that are relevant. We've got what? Orphan? Um, other copies of Lightning. Uh, the new Sid Reigns is actually decent here. Um, break a 4 cost as well. That seems uh, kind of nice. It's in color. Um, higher damage levels it does stuff. Cheating Sarah in is not bad. Um, play a backup for free, potentially. Uh, cheats in the 6 cost lighting that searches 2 Odins. It's an interesting card. Uh, I've tried to make it work a couple times. I never really liked it. Yeah, uh, I don't hate this card. Uh, it's also going to be one of the more premium full arts. The art on this card is gorgeous. I love the art. But, um, yeah. Ramu. This is part of or ice. Uh, sorry, this is lightning's version of the set of summons, and uh, it's weird. <laughs> Um, it's free if you play the lightning forward, and it does 8k to a forward of cost 3 or less. Why does it not outright break the forward? I don't know. Uh, 3 or less, 8k is probably going to break anyway, unless their name is exactly Sophie, so I don't imagine that that's actually a problem. Uh, maybe it's good, you can kind of diversify, like lightning has a lot of already like low cost outright break hates, maybe it's like stop something that can't be broken and just like does a damage instead um why is it not named odin for some actual synergy with the lightning in the set i don't know i don't make the cards um there's a decent chance to see some play just again tacking a lot of these cards you can think of them as like taking any forward in the game that you're playing and you think if i could pay to staple pay to do this effect would i do it I think in uh, Rama's case, there are games you would. Um, there's definitely a lot of three cost or less forwards you really want to kill right now, so that's nice. So maybe. Ricard. Oh my god, this card is good. <laughs> um, so earlier on in the, the stream, I had like a little mini discussion where I was laughing, kind of just accidentally went over like what I thought were the best backups in the game. Uh, say hi to a contender for best backups in the game now. Um, 3 CP, uh, reveal 5, add a lightning card. Uh, but the others on the bottom. It is a Dragoon that we don't care about. Never had a good Ricard in the game. Um, so the job is great. The effect is great. This essentially, if you see this now... So what you can also do now, say the going second thing with Kane doesn't catch on, right? Um, or even let's say it does. If you don't see Alice, but you see Ricard, you can now keep that hand because Ricard functions as a mulligan for your Alice now. So now, so it's a hit off of Alice that also digs for Alice, which Dragoons has always wanted. There is no Dragoon in the game until now that could get you to Alice faster. It's why so many Dragoon lists were trying to tech in Sarah, because that would give you at least another three copies of Alice, right? This is an, a lightning card that digs you towards Alice. And by itself, that is enough of a reason for this card to see play. The fact that it is Job Dragoon on top of that means that Dragoons can go back to being mono lightning, especially now that they have a cane. I really, really think Dragoons are very, very scary. This card is really good. Um, and even the action ability is good. Uh, it is... First Strike is so good, and this isn't, like, restricted. You can do this on either player's turn. 
Uh, if you just want to play another Ricard, say you like, you don't have an answer and you really need a Freya, you can Ricard, break it, choose a forward, give it first strike, play the Ricard, search for the Freya, find the Freya Cherry Blossom. What the heck? How did this get through, like, it doesn't feel like a card that would get through the R&D process because it's too good. Like, genuinely, this is... I think this is a contender for best backup in the game, almost. And then, like, you factor in now, like, outside of Dragoons, you can now go, like, Ricard, find Aphmau, play Aphmau, Aphmau, get a third backup. You can kind of start cascading through your deck. Really cool. Love it. Um, Dragoon. Uh, this is not a good Dragoon. Uh, this doesn't go in Dragoon decks. Um, haste is the the free thing it has, and then you could break it forward if you have three different elements. Uh, it, it's gonna be okay in sealed and nowhere else. And that's it for lightning. All right. 